Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support. And in this video we're going to go over how to connect your iSecure hub to your customer's Wi-Fi. This is a must do when using the Kit 3, or if you want to add Wi-Fi and a 7 inch IBR Touch tablet to your Kit 1 or 2. We're going to start by going to the iSecure website, logging in with our dealer ID, password, and the radio ID number. And as always when logging in, the hub and the cloud are going to sync to see if there's any changes that need to be downloaded before you proceed, and as expected, there is not. We're going to click on the central station reporting section, and we're going to change our communication technology from cell radio only to IP with cell radio backup. Change our configuration type to Wi-Fi is the only IP path in this case. And as the pop-up says, after you save this change, it's going to take a few minutes for the hub to reboot. You click OK and then click save. Now the change is going to be pending and download to the hub and it will download and the hub will reboot. It should take about 30 to 45 seconds for the hub to reboot and reconnect. Once the hub has been rebooted and reconnected, you can click on search Wi-Fi networks, and this will scan all the available Wi-Fi networks, SSIDs that are broadcast that the hub can pick up, and you can select yours. You can also manually type it in if you know what the um, ID of the network is. Now, I've already scanned for networks, so we can see there's a whole list here, and we're going to pick the one we're going to connect to. And then we're going to type in the password of the router. And then also click save to send those changes in. Now, once the changes have been downloaded and the hub will connect to the customer's Wi-Fi router, now you should be able to get your IBR Touch screens connected to the system once they are also connected to the customer's router. When doing this, make sure that you're connecting to the 2.4 gigahertz router or the 2.4 gigahertz SSID of a multi-band router. Now, once the router connects, we can get a Wi-Fi signal strength, 15 being the best. Let's see if we connect it already and can get a signal strength. Now you see we are connected with a signal strength of 15, and that's the best that we can get. Now just to review, we went over how to connect your iSecure hub to your customer's router uh, for using the 7-inch IBR Touch tablets, and this also can be used for dual-path reporting. And as always, for more information, you can visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching.